Hello and welcome to Laranara. Have you ever heard about the SID cabin or aquatilis therapy? Well, if you haven't, then this presentation is for you. Uh, in this presentation, we're going to show you how a nuclear physicist who worked at Philips, um, the medical uh, branch of Philips, uh, who co-developed the MRI technology, has developed uh, what is, in our opinion, a very, very interesting uh, health cabin where you treat all kinds of diseases, uh, including cancers, and we're going to show you the whole technology behind it, what the theory behind it is, and the results. So, without further ado, let's learn more about the health cabin. And in order to understand the SAED cabin or the Aquatilis technology, we must first get a, a better understanding of what free radicals are. So radicals or free radicals are atoms or molecules with one or more unpaired electrons, as you can see also in the picture on the right. Every unpaired electron is constantly searching for another one and acts extremely aggressively. And radicals are powerful oxidizing agents, therefore. A number of biological functions of the body are dependent on the action of radicals, for example, your immune system. And if kept under control adequately, the radicals are a useful species. If not, however, they can do much harm. Under the influence of traces of iron and copper um, ions, uh, for example, the hydrogen peroxide can be converted into so-called hydroxyl radicals, which react with anything and can cause much damage. Various types of radicals can be found, including the superoxide radical and the methyl radical. And radicals may either enter from the outside of the body or they can originate from specific processes inside of your cells. They react, for instance, with proteins or lipids and cause loss of cell function. Receptors, which serve as a means to, uh, of, to admit specific messages to the cell, can be affected and even the DNA in the cell nucleus may be damaged. And to a certain level, the body can neutralize these attacks. The main question, however, is how long the cell can resist the degenerative action of those radicals. When the cell is unable to resist any longer, it loses its integrity and the result is a number of diseases. In a healthy body, there is ample protection against those free radicals. For instance, vitamin E, vitamin C, beta-carotene, uric acid, dextrose and several plasma proteins as well as certain enzymes, they all have antioxidant effects. This protects in many ways the possible damage from those radicals. Certain proteins combine with iron and as a consequence they inhibit iron to play a role in this free radical formation. Vitamin E has also a preventive effect as it neutralizes the radicals the moment they originate. The problem is, however, that the more our bodies age, the weaker our defense systems against those free radicals become. And radicals play a key role in the development of diseases of old age, therefore, such as rheumatism, Parkinson's disease, dementia, as well as heart and uh, vascular diseases. Aging itself is caused by a loss of uh, functions of cells, tissues and organs. And this loss of function is again due to the breakdown of vital processes in the cell. Damage due to free uh, radicals is considered to be one of the most important causes. Disorders of the central nervous system may be treated by removing radicals, the consequence of dementia and damage caused by injuries or cerebral hemorrhages may be also limited in the same way. And now that we have gained a better understanding of what free radicals are and why they can cause all kinds of conditions. 
we can learn about the SID aquatilis therapy. And uh, as I've mentioned already in the introduction, Mr. Saidi is a nuclear physicist, a medical engineer who worked uh, formerly at the medical devices division of Philips in Holland and where he was, um, amongst others, a co-developer also of the MRI technology. And his therapy is based on binding free radicals and detoxifying the body at the highest level. Based on this concept, uh, Mr. Saidi has developed a novel non-invasive therapeutic technology to effectively inhibit the action of a surplus of radicals and to reduce their synthesis. At the same time, this method stimulates the activity of the immune system, resulting in a more successful defense against infections. Furthermore, the circulation of blood throughout the body is significantly enhanced, and the entire treatment takes place in the so-called Aquatilis or uh, SID cabin that we're going to have a closer look at in a minute, in which the parameters such as temperature, pressure, light intensity, energy, volume, they are all precisely regulated and strictly controlled by a computerized system. The patient is surrounded uh, in this cabin by a specific positively charged a water vapor called aquatilis, hence the name of the therapy. And this uh, water vapor enters the body through the skin pores, resulting in a recovery without uh, the need of uh, pharmaceuticals. The heart rate and blood pressure are under constant control during the therapy and the cabin functions are adapted all the time to the specific condition of the patient and this creates the most favorable circumstances for an effective and fast treatment. And the uh, SID aquatilis therapy stops the progression of a number of diseases that are related to a surplus of free radicals. It removes damaged cells and causes uh, the body to replace them by new cells. Consequently, the recovery process has been uh, shown to be considerably accelerated with this kind of therapy. And because neither pharmaceutical drugs nor poisonous gases are used, the method is absolutely safe and no negative side effects have ever been observed. Now, let's have a look at the cabin itself and all of the technologies that make it work. As you can see from the image on the right, the cabin looks like a small pyramid with uh, mirrors on the inside and it is hot and humid inside like a steam sauna. And in this uh, cabin, uh, Mr. Saidi generates a positively charged environment, which according to his theory, withdraws the free radicals from the body or neutralizes them. The sauna style cabin is kept at a relatively high humidity of almost 100% and at a temperature of around 50 degrees Celsius. The effects of the high humidity and temperature of a sauna on the human body are of course well known and not disputed. During transpiration the skin is used as a supportive organ to the neutralization and disposal of unwanted chemicals and that includes the free radicals. The atmosphere in the cabin contains an excessive and objectively measurable positive charge, which is achieved by a special type of electrolysis or electrolysis uh, of water contained in a reservoir in the cabin that you can see here in the right hand corner of the image. And there are also moving electromagnets behind the mirrored walls of the cabin and they create the specific magnetic fields required to allow the positively charged particles in the cabin's atmosphere to neutralize the excess of negative charge which is caused by the oxidative stress. And that's not all that makes this cabin work. The moving electromagnets, the coils embedded into the walls, are also combined with static magnets that are placed under the bench on which the patient lies upon. Uh, you can see it here in the image on the left. And this combined electromagnetic and static magnetic fields assist as the solubilization of calcium deposits in arteries and also improve blood and lymphatic circulation in general. 
certain vibrations generated by the coils have strong antimicrobial effects as well. And by using so-called resonance frequencies, the bacteria, the molds and the viruses are counteracted. Additionally, special medicinal herbs are also added to the steam in the cabin and because of the steam they can be of course more easily absorbed by your body. You might also notice that there are infrared and UV lights present in the cabin. Why? Because those lights make uh, the plants that are also present in the cabin, as you can see here, they are on top of the heat generator for boiling the water and the electrolysis. Um, they make those plants produce oxygen around the clock. As we know from biology lessons at school, plants um, produce oxygen and take in CO2, uh, but at night the whole process is reversed. But when we expose them to infrared and UV light, they produce oxygen around the clock. You might also notice that there are high frequency speakers built into the walls of this cabin and they are not for listening to music. They produce specific beneficial sound frequencies that cannot be heard by the human ear. And all of the functions of this Aquatilis cabin are fully integrated and are monitored by a computer system and that means that at any time during the treatment they can be adjusted to the individual's specific needs. And the treatment usually takes about 90 minutes with all of the preliminary and post-treatment procedures. The actual therapy within the cabin takes uh, between 30 and 40 minutes. And with that we come to results. And I must mention that uh, unfortunately this Aquatilis method has not yet been evaluated by mainstream medicine, even though Mr. Esaidi invites anybody to come to his clinic in the Netherlands and measure for themselves. But as we will see, there are a load of reports from patients who have undergone this therapy. And uh, we also have doctors who have measured the blood values of patients before and after treatment and I'm going to show you such an example um, shortly. So what do the vast majority of patients report on this therapy? Well it has been shown that uh, Aquatilis therapy very effectively counteracts this uh, radical related pathology and also detoxifies the body at an extremely deep level. No other mm, detox method can report the same really. In a significant number of diseases, positive results have been obtained. At the same time, as we've mentioned also already, no adverse side reactions have ever been observed. And in patients with the following diseases and conditions, either beneficial effects or complete cures have been observed. Neurological problems, urological problems, certain types of cancer, viruses, skin diseases such as psoriasis, eczemas, acne vulgaris, inflammations such as inflammations of the prostate and of the bladder, infections, uh, varicose veins, migraines, epilepsy, asthma, poisoning uh, and glaucomas. Positive effects have also been observed with uh, diseases such as multiple sclerosis and rheumatic conditions and in several types of cancers such as cancer of the skin, the lung, the pancreas, the breast, the liver, the stomach, the intestine, uh, prostate, uterus and the blood. However, if you look through the reports of patients, uh, specifically the cancer patients, you will notice that um, it is apparent that the efficacy and the duration of the treatment are highly dependent on the nature as well as the stage of the cancer. And I told you we are also going to look at uh, some evidence from doctors that uh, have recorded what happens with their patients before and after this therapy. One of those doctors is Dr. Frank uh, Ande from San Remo, Italy, 
Um, during the fourth German Alternative Cancer Day in October 2004 in Stuttgart, Germany, he presented his documentation on the aqua tillis therapy for the very first time. And over several years, uh, what he did, he is a um, pathologist, so he took blood samples from his cancer patients prior to and after the aqua tillis therapy, and he determined the following. First, he was able to observe a complete elimination of the circulating cancer cells. Well, that means uh, no risk for metastasis or relapses. He was also able to uh, observe a stimulation of the T cells, which enhance the immune system. Also an elimination of a typical microorganism. So it was possible to kill and eliminate, for example, somatids and protozoa that cause cancer. Uh, also, um, the microorganisms that cause Lyme disease, etc. He was also able to see that there was an elimination of blocking factors on the cell membrane functions, which uh, translates into better nutrition of the cell and a better detoxification of the cell. And uh, there was also a stimulation of the natural killer cells. And according to Dr. Frank uh, Ander, the results clearly show in his opinion that this aquatilis therapy is a very intensive and beneficial detox therapy which has clear positive influences on the immune system as well as the cellular metabolism. And in his opinion, this is truly unique and in our opinion as well. And that's why we wanted to show you and bring you closer to your attention this therapy because it is very a little known and outside of the Netherlands and the German speaking realm, uh, even though, as I've mentioned, there are many patients who have reported amazing results. And uh, I just wanted to mention that we are not in any way or shape uh, affiliated with uh, Mr. Saidi. We are not paid by him to promote this. We just think that here at Lyra Nara we like to talk about holistic methods that really work and are interesting and that we should know about and this is in our opinion one of the more interesting ones and that's why we wanted to present it to you. If you have questions about any of the subjects discussed today please do not hesitate to contact us shop at laranara.com the complete contact information, including our toll-free phone numbers, is going to be in the description box below the video. If you have enjoyed this presentation, which I really hope you did, please support our work by liking, sharing and subscribing. It really helps us out a lot. And with all that being said, stay healthy. Until next time.